hello guys welcome back in this video let's have a look on patch healing tool so patch healing tool is there in the toolbox if you could see here so we have spot healing brush tool and then if you scroll down you have patch tool here so this patch tool is used to heal uh, things unlike you have spot healing brush which gives you a brush okay patch tool gives you a different tool uh, for selection so that is the selection tool just like a lasso tool you have so what we need to do is we need to just click and drag and then select that area which you want to fix so this is a quite bigger uh, patch uh, comparing with the small pimple like if you if you want to heal a small pimple there you can generally pot healing and then it works but something very big then you should uh, maybe rely on a more advanced tool which is patch tool so I'm selecting that one and I'm just selecting that whole pa uh, you know a pimple which is way bigger than the other pimples there uh, if you want to add more elements to it you can generally hold shift and add like we have add selection we have subtract selection we have intersect selection so you can use all those features from here and uh, right now um, I just want to subtract this one and then keep it simple there so what I need to do is just click and drag that okay I'll go back select it select okay um, there was some problem here let me open the history switch off that now let's go back to the patch tool there is a option here called transparent pixels that should be off by default so what i'm going to do is select that and then now click and drag that to any place which you want to source that information okay and uh, when you put there like that it uh, heals that area it heals that area from that uh, information which you have uh, sourced from so if you like click and drag this and consider this one as the source so it will heal keeping this information there okay so the big pimple is gone and then you got that all three pimples so if I just source it from the lip it will use the lip as the source of information so that is what uh, this patch tool does so uh, as this is uh, a skin so you want to patch it with a skin use a decent area now it is a brighter color if you could see but it has uh, color corrected itself to match the surroundings that's something really cool about this okay now I'll select half of the pimple and then you have this diffusion I'll put it to one and then select it so you should able to see there the edge edges are too sharp there okay now when I choose the diffusion to higher values and uh, you see the blend is happening there so it's trying to blend the pixels and you don't see that seam clearly uh, anywhere there so it is really important <coughs> okay if you just select that if you just click and drag okay so that uh, pixels are softly blending inside why is that happening it is happening because of the diffusion value what we have here so you can use that uh, we have use pattern and there are a lot of patterns here so defaultly some noise is there so when I enable that it uses that particular pattern in that area so uh, pattern usage is sometimes uh, helpful um, maybe some people prefer to add some film grain into it or something like that a texture which can make it look more organic in that case this uh, use pattern feature can be used 
so you can select from any of the textures or a custom texture and you can apply that there uh, from the use pattern thing okay so we have the transparency on so if if i don't use the transparency it is taking that total opaque patch and then it is you know uh, putting there as opaque object and also it is uh, color correcting uh, whereas when i switch on transparency and source this it is only taking the high contrast information and then it's putting uh, that area on top of it so the pimple will stay intact and only the the uh, pores will uh, be added on to it okay so you should be able to see that so there are uh, very light pores so when i take source from here uh, when i do it more and more times you could see the pimple is not going but a new set of information is getting on to this uh, selection you could see that so transparent pixels um, is not a complete opaque patch but it only puts that uh, you know brighter areas uh, and then the other areas become transparent so it is visible from that transparency there um, maybe it will it can be used to enhance the texture like what you have seen uh, just now now this is uh, the source method like you are um, right now uh, this is the source and it is taking that information and putting that back into the patch now destination is like this information will be moved to a destination like here and then you can add more pimples onto this particular character and you know the best thing is wherever skin tones are bright it's keeping it bright wherever skin tones are dark it is keeping it dark okay so it's trying to stay in that uh, environment so so destination is like a stamp tool like you were stamp taking stamps from there and putting it uh, randomly in different places <coughs> so uh, that's a beautiful tool and uh, we have content aware um, content aware again as i told it it generally borrows information from the border of that selection and then patches it and the borders are quite uniform uh, content aware can generally do magic okay uh, but when you are taking uh, maybe if i just lasso this area and then uh, i want to heal this with the skin then what happens is this border will blend inside this border will blend inside so it, it just trying to take information from the borders and the source so it, it gives a nice blend there okay um, so content aware yeah you can use it but make sure that uh, it's really helping you um, but uh, I just go back you have uh, structure and color to maybe take a better control over this thing uh, because this is not really um, healing correctly you could see a clear outline coming up there so uh, let's try to uh, explore these two options one is the structure and the color now if i put this cursor on this how strictly the source structure is preserved is what this option is okay now sometimes when i put this value is less okay and then when i put that okay you could see this information had got lot of pores and uh, when i put this information there and when i put the structure to one it has completely modified that like adding lot of blur and uh, end of the day it has created a ugly looking patch there so it's modifying that total patch here when the structure is lower when the structure is higher okay it is uh, copying that information precisely it's not doing any change to that structure structure is like all the details what you have okay now you have you got the color 
okay though so it is again preserving the color now if i just put the color to zero and uh, you know take this uh, information okay and then i'm taking uh, from a darker area so you should able to see this this patch is as same as what i have picked here whereas when i increase the color value to 10 now when i put this now the patch is looking brown but when i release it it is adjusting uh, the patch color to the neighboring patches so it is trying to you know justify it okay so i've taken a good let me put uh, one to seven so i put it to four and then this one put it to eight and then again try it okay and let's see if the content our uh, does any magic still it looks really patchy okay so whereas normal um, it's uh, doing a decent job actually so again uh, it is your choice to um, rely on this any of this tools I mean try to um, explore both options when one is not working try other one maybe it should help you so mostly uh, patch tool is generally used to heal very big regions i mean big patches uh, whereas uh, the spot healing does uh, used for small spots so that's the whole difference between spot healing and uh, patch tool i've made a tutorial on spot healing brush i can uh, you can find the description a link in the description okay